Time lead right now, it's 29-24. And Deard moves it around. Shot clock is off, seven seconds left. Good defense from the Lady Airedales trying to keep them from getting the shot off and the shot's no good. And that'll do it. Halftime, it's Alma 29, Van Buren 24. Let's take timeout. In 1886, aluminum was developed. The first Coca-Cola was sold. The Statue of Liberty was dedicated. And Citizens Bank and Trust in Crawford County opened for business. We say they don't make things like they used to. And maybe that's true. But for over 130 years, Citizens has served the residents of Crawford County with the best financial products and services available. And like aluminum, Coca-Cola, and the Statue of Liberty, we plan on being around for a while. Citizens Bank and Trust. That's my bank for all of Crawford County. Accidents are never fun. Don't take your vehicle to just anyone. The professional team at Autoplex is committed to quality first and your complete satisfaction. Our ASE certified technicians will repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition efficiently and quickly with a warranty on all repairs, on-site insurance filing, and rental cars available. At Autoplex, we look forward to making your experience with us easy in our state-of-the-art facility. Autoplex Collision Repair. Quality first, always. Three RV Center, leading the River Valley in sales and service for over 70 years. Founded in 1950, Crabtree RV Center has grown into one of the largest family-owned and operated RV dealerships in Northwest Arkansas. Located on 17 acres, including a 26,000 square foot indoor showroom, Crabtree RV Center has everything you need all in one convenient location. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, Arkansas, making your family's dreams come true. We are not a perfect church filled with perfect people who have their life all together. We struggle with our marriages, sometimes we are judgmental and at times hypocritical. So if you are not perfect like us, you'll fit in perfectly. First Baptist Church is a group of people who believe Jesus is the answer to what has gone wrong in our world and to what has gone wrong in our own lives. Church for us is community. Friends who belong together and people who love and serve the community of Alma are home. We would love for you to join us. We promise you'll fit in perfectly. Heritage Portraits has proudly provided photography services for the River Valley and surrounding areas for over 20 years, including school photography and yearbooks, youth sports leagues, corporate photography, studio sessions, and event photography. Have you been meaning to order your child's school photos? Walk-ins are welcome, and we offer on-site printing. We are located at 402 Webster Street in Van Buren. Contact us today. We're ready to photograph you. Hey, I'm Brent. I'm Dale, but you have to call me Dragon. Oh, well, then you have to call me Nightwing. All right, Nightwing. Let's play a little game. On the count of three, I want you to say your favorite travel center. Don't even think about it. Just say it, all right? One, two, three. Workman! What's your favorite deli item? Chicken strips! Do we just become best friends? Yeah. All right. Let's go to Workman's. Workman's. Yeah! Now that we're finally here, what's your favorite homemade jelly or jam? Peach jam! <gasps> Me too! Yeah. Wow. Look at all the amazing honeys and jams and all these other goodies. Wow. Excuse me, ma'am. That looks delicious. <clears throat> oh, burger, that's my burger. They're really good. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. Look at the wide variety of gifts. Wow. Oh, yeah. Workman's! Yeah! Spartan General Contractors is a construction company equipped with highly trained and experienced individuals ready to support you with your next construction project. Residential or commercial, Spartan has the resources needed to help you achieve your final goal. One of our main objectives at Spartan is to keep your project on time and within your budget. While the thoughts of your next construction job can seem complex and overwhelming, let Spartan General Contractors help alleviate that stress and make your next project become reality. Here at the University of Arkansas Fort Smith, we do things differently. 
Because here, learning doesn't just happen on screens and in books, we learn through action. With degree plans, they're on our terms, whether in class or online. And because UAEFS is the most affordable four-year campus in Arkansas, we can do it all without going into debt. So when we graduate, we don't just have a diploma, we have a resume that will launch. We own the lumber yard located in Van Buren, Arkansas, down on Industrial Park Road. We've been in business since 2002 for a full line of lumber, unfinished and finished plywood, engineered wood, cedar products, and LP smart siding and trim, along with access to James Hardy siding and other pre-finished siding. We also carry roofing, insulation materials, drywall, and wood sidings like ship lateral different exterior door and glass options from Thermatru, MAI doors, and Western Reflections. We also stock several different interior door styles from Geldwen with access to their entire interior door line and others. We have a full-time estimator on staff who can do blueprint takeoffs and estimated material list for whatever project you have. He can work with contractors or homeowners to help you get your project started and answer any questions you may have. You'll also have access to an outside sales representative that will be there throughout the building process from start to finish. Our mission is to provide service at a level that differentiates us as the best in the marketplace. Lumber One, where service still matters. You're watching. Airwaves Media. Half time at Van Buren Clara Bates Arena, the Airedales. On top of Van Buren, 29-24. Lady Airedale shot lights out from deep in that first half of play, led by as many as seven points. Van Buren cut it down to two, and then a big three-point shot late from Kylie Poole. And the Airedales at halftime up 29-24. to So Alma came out. They were down a little bit, kind of back and forth early on, but uh, they kept hitting those three-point shots from outside. And, Got enough inside play. Van Buren kind of stayed in it. They made a lot of free throws. Alma has yet to attempt the foul shot in this ball game. Van Buren's already attempted a bunch, but Alma hit those seven threes in the first half, and that was uh, that was huge. And uh, that'll certainly get you going. Kylie Poole has four of those. She's got 12 points for the Lady Airedales, and that is a career high for Kylie Poole. So how about that in the first half of play? Kylie Poole on fire with those uh, four three-point baskets. So you know Van Buren's gonna make some adjustments at halftime, they'll come back and be ready to go in the second half of play. But a uh, good start for Chanley Bottoms and the Lady Airedales who enjoy a halftime lead of 29-24 here on this very nice spring-like Tuesday evening. Of course, our second ball game will feature Alma and Van Buren. That's gonna be the big one. That'll be the boys matchup. That's for the conference championship, Alma and Van Buren. Airedale is looking for the season sweep, first time since 2005. They were non-conference games back then. Now they have played, like Alma won the season series in 11 and 12, but they only played one game. That was back when you just had the uh, non-conference. So sometimes they played more than one, sometimes they played two. And in 11 and 12, Alma won, but it was just a single game that year, so a chance to win two games, first time since 05 against Van Buren, and before that, they hadn't done it since 1974. So it's been a minute for the Airedale basketball program against Van Buren, but uh, what a start for Alma, 10-0 in the conference, and of course, if you win that game tonight, you're the 5A West Conference champions outright. Nobody can catch you at this point, so that'll be a big game coming up after the girls game, but Lady Airedale is gonna try to stay hot. Good defensive set late too. Van Buren did not get a very good shot off. Three pointers the first time they played in the first half at Alma and had a huge lead. And Alma lost that ball game. The Lady Airedale is trying to beat Van Buren first time in 11 tries. The last time Alma defeated Van Buren was back in 2014. 
Second half underway, Van Buren's got it down low. Here's the shot up, no good, and the rebound, Van Buren back in, no good. Rebound, Airedales. And rebound number 33. Boy, she's a tough junior indeed. That's Gramlich. I'm looking for Kylie Poole. I'm sure Van Buren is too. Kylie's got it. Gets it inside. Nice give and go to Jaden. Up and in for two more. Jaden with the basket. And the Lady Airedales with that. Up now seven points, matching their largest lead, 31 to 24 here in the third quarter of play. Good move from Jaden and a great pass from Kylie Poole. Van Buren on the block, had it knocked out of bounds. Going to stay with Van Buren. Kevin Taylor and Airwaves Media here tonight with you from Van Buren's Claire Bates Arena. Claire Bates actually has got some Alma ties as well, one-time Alma coach back in the 1940s. Here's a uh, Van Buren, a move down low, up and in for two. So the Lady Airedales with that. Have the lead cut down. Here's a three-point shot from uh, outside, no good. That was uh, McCart, missed it. Down by five, and here comes Van Buren the other way. Aspen Cohn had that big first game uh, against, there's a steal, but they're going to call a foul. That's going to be on the Lady Airedales. Aspen Cohn is a junior. Avisha Johnson also in the ball game right now. She is a senior. They got some seniors, and they got a little mix of juniors as well, does Van Buren. The referees are still talking things over. Maybe they're trying to figure out who fouled who and who's the foul going to be on. It's on Alma. I'm just not sure who it's on, what player. So after a little bit of a discussion, they figured out. That's the first team foul here in the second half on the Lady Airedales. And the inbounds comes outside. That's Cone. New shot clock, so no rush here for Van Buren. 25 seconds on the shot clock, and they trail it by five. Here is Johnson, thought about it, kicks it outside to Cohn. Cohn drives on the baseline, covered up, gets it down low, and here's a move inside. That's a travel. You betcha. Oh, they call a jump ball. It goes back down. That should have been a travel. Nonetheless, the Airedales have it back. 6.07 left here in this third quarter, and Alma leads it by five points. Coach Chanley Bottoms and company come in tonight's play at 1-9 in the conference. They've had some close calls. They had some games that they certainly let get away. Uh, Mountain Home comes to mind. That was the first time they played at Alma. Three-point shot outside for Alma. Bingo! And the Lady Airedales have their largest lead tonight. Eight points, 34-26. That was Gramlick, Jordan from way downtown. Here's a pass on the block, up and in. Van Buren gets one to fall. They got a lot of height. They certainly have an advantage over the uh, smaller Lady Airedales, no doubt about that. Alma up by six points, and for Alma, that is the eighth three-point basket they have made tonight. Here's a feed down low, ball up, up. Yeah, just rolled in and out. Coming up on five minutes left here in this third quarter of play, and Van Buren... Trailing it by six, here's Johnson. Kicks it outside, three-point baseline, shots in and out, no good. The rebound, Van Buren, they're going to try it again. This is Cone for three, that one's no good. And a good block out that time by the Lady Airedales. That was, of course, number 33, Jordan Gramlick. And the Lady Airedales have it back. And we got a timeout, full timeout, Chan Lee Bottoms, so let's take it with you. 443 left here in the third quarter of play. It's Alma 34 and Van Buren 28. We'll be right back. Crabtree RV Center, leading the River Valley in sales and service for over 70 years. Founded in 1950, Crabtree RV Center has grown into one of the largest family-owned and operated RV dealerships in Northwest Arkansas. Located on 17 acres, including a 26,000 square foot indoor showroom, 
Crabtree RV Center has everything you need all in one convenient location. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, Arkansas. Making your family's dreams come true. You're watching Airwaves Media. Kevin Taylor and Airwaves Media, we are back. And the Lady Airedale's Chanley Bottom is burning her second time out of this ballgame. She's got two left. Ben Buren has four left. 4.43 to play in the third quarter, and Alma leads it 34 to 28. Alma led at halftime by five, 29 to 24. Alma's got it near midcourt here from Flair Bates Arena. They've done some good work in here, very nice aesthetics. Nice uh, place to watch a ball game. Still not my favorite road, Jim. You're going to stay with Greenbrier on that. That's a great place to watch a ball game. Gramlick gets it down low, had it knocked away, going to hang on to it. Shot clock down to nine. Here is Kylie Pool for three more. It's no good. And the rebound chased down by Gramlick. Gramlick kicks it outside. McKinley McCart fires it up. It's no good. And the rebound, Van Buren. Van Buren kicks it down low and a layup, two more. So Van Buren cuts it to four, 34-30. And I'm gonna let it by eight, and now back-to-back -back baskets from Van Buren to cut it to four. And we got a turnover. Van Buren coming back. Here's a shot up, no good. That was probably not what they wanted, but uh, did not fall in. Michael Kenny, the head coach, Van Buren. Michael is in his fourth year as the head coach. Amaya Parker has it. Kicks it outside, Kylie Poole. Parker had a big three in that first half. Almost got eight of them. Shot clock down to eight, so they're running some clock. Here's a deep three from Gramlick. It's no good. They missed everything. It's going to be a jump ball. The possession area area is going to air. I'll spit it out. Van Buren ball, but that's a break because Alma was going to be in trouble anyway. The shot clock was down to two. They did draw iron, so pretty heady play nonetheless. Alma's going to have it back on the next jump ball. So 3.08 left here in the third. Van Buren down by four. Here come the Lady Pointers across midcourt. Cone had it, lost it, throws it away. Alma picks it up, picked up by McCart. Valley pull out to McCart, double team. Got 15 on the shot clock, turnaround jumper is no good, and the rebound, Van Buren. A good block out by the Lady Pointers. Sophie Gehring on that rebound, and here comes Van Buren. This is a drive in the lane, up, and two more foul shots coming for Van Buren. They could get within two here. Gramlick, by the way, eight rebounds for the Lady Airedales here in this game. First foul shot is good. And Van Buren down two. 34-32 for the Lady Airedales. They lead it. Alma leads it by two. Gramlick moving it around. Baseline three from Kylie Poole. It's good! Holy Toledo, she's got 15! <laughs> Kylie Poole with that was ninth three point shot. She's got 15 points. And Alma by five again. Van Buren shoots a three, it's an air ball. Out of bounds, back to Alma. And we get a timeout, Michael Kenny. It's gonna be a 30 second timeout. We'll stay right here with you. What's ahead? Alma's back home on Friday night. 
senior night on Friday night. And then we'll have colors on Tuesday. I believe it's Greenbrier coming to town on Friday night. And then the Airedales have Greenwood. And then the finale, a week from this coming Friday night, we're going to gas up the bus and head up the mountain, the mountain home. That'll be the season finale. Got a lot of junior high basketball tomorrow if you're uh, looking for some hoops. Now the ninth grade girls play Greenwood at 4 o'clock. That'll be over at H.B. Stewart Arena. Not at Wells, at the arena. And then Alma's going to play the late game. They will take on Greenwood at 745. Greenwood knocked off Van Buren. No, I'm sorry. They knocked off Harrison last night. So a big win for Van or, uh, Greenwood. Alma kicking it around. That's going to be a... A foul, I believe, against Van Buren. They have not had many of those in this game. So the Airedales have it out of bounds. Inbounds comes to Demaya Parker. Gramlich gets it down low to Jaden, puts it up, and they're going to call a blocking foul and some foul shots for Jaden. These will be the first free throws for the Lady Airedales here tonight. 37-32 ball game. Van Buren, or uh, Alma by five. Make it six as Jaden gets out with a drop in. Jaden's got five points here in this game. A couple of fouls. And next one's no good. The rebound, Jordan Gramlich. Jordan Gramlich inside. Had it knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with Alma. So the lead back to six, 38-32, with a minute 28 left here in this third quarter. Jordan Gramlich kicks it outside. Jordan, free throw line, had it blocked. Alma gets it back. Parker for three in the corner, up, good! Demaya Parker knocks it down! Alma by nine, largest lead tonight, that is 10. Three-point shots for the Lady Airedales. We got a two-shot foul for Van Buren that's coming up here. Foul called on the Lady Airedales. Van Buren has attempted. This will be 14 foul shots for Van Buren, just two for Alma. First one's up and good. Free throws have kept them in this game, no doubt about it. McKinley McCart checks out, and Chloe Gregory is going to check in. I'll tell you, this is a big game in the standings for Van Buren. One out of two, they missed one, and the Airedales have the rebound. Greenwood, of course, is tied with Mountain Home, both at 9-1 and one before tonight. And the rest of it, here's a shot up, no good. Rebound to Alma, up and in! Largest lead tonight, it's 10, 43-33, Lady Airedales. Russellville, 8-2, they're in third place, but Harrison comes in to play tonight, 4-6, and, and Van Buren, 4-6, and, and that's for fourth place. Aspen Cone outside, thinking about it. And we'll about 10 here late in the third quarter. Here's a shot inside, up, no good, to rebound Van Buren. Here's an elbow jumper outside, no good. The long rebound, Van Buren. Here's a three-point shot, Van Buren. That's no good. The rebound, going to be a jump ball. It's going to be out of possession with 21 seconds left here in the third quarter. So Van Buren and Harrison battling for that fourth playoff spot come in to play tonight at four and six. Alma leads this game by 10 with 21.6 seconds left to play. Ten three-point baskets for the Lady Airedales in this game. Inbounds comes to Jaden. Gramlick Benson going to get it across midcourt. That's Isabel Benson. 14 seconds. Shot clock is off. We're down to about eight seconds, and Alma's going to turn it over. That's a tough one right there. With 6.1 seconds left, Jaden was ready to go left, and the ball goes off her foot. Van Buren has a chance to get within seven points here to wrap up. That's a cheap, uh, that's a tough one right there. You had the possession arrow in 21 seconds, and 
end up turning it over with 15 seconds to play. Van Buren in the inbounds, four seconds left. Here's a drive, no good, and that'll do it. The rebound, Isabel Benson. So after three quarters of play, it's Alva 43, Van Buren 33. Let's take timeout. Heritage Portraits has proudly provided photography services for the River Valley and surrounding areas for over 20 years, including school photography and yearbooks, youth sports leagues, corporate photography, studio sessions, and event photography. Have you been meaning to order your child's school photos? Walk-ins are welcome, and we offer on-site printing. We are located at 402 Webster Street in Van Buren. Contact us today. We're ready to photograph you. Airwaves Media. Back in Van Buren, Claire Bates Arena. Good crowd on hand, and the Lady Airedales have 10 three point shots in three quarters of play. And that was up by 10 points, 43 33. VB's going to have it. This uh, first tip. Now Van Buren is uh, 13 for 14 at the free throw line tonight. Now I'm just one out of two. That's a big stat in this game. And they could have had another foul call there. It was kind of a 50-50 no call that went Alma's way to end that third quarter. Van Buren, a lot of size. This is Johnson. And kick it down low and the ball stripped away. Almost picked it up and gonna have a travel or a foul? Got a foul call. First foul called against Isabel Benson. I'll check it. That's her third foul. Van Buren's got it on the baseline. Here is Cone for three points. Good. Aspen Cone, a big one for Van Buren to cut it to seven. So the Lady Airedales get it across midcourt. That's Maya Parker. Parker going to drive in, puts it up, missed it. Boy, in and out. And the rebound, Van Buren. Here come the pointers. Johnson passes off, is fouled. That's a two. Oh, she was passing. She wasn't even shooting. They're going to call that a shooting foul. So that's a tough break because she was not shooting. She was passing, but the referee called it a two-shot foul. And... First one's good. 16 foul shots for Van Buren. 7-12 left to play. They trail it by six points. Benson checks out. Jordan Gramlich back in the game. McKinley McCart. Kylie Poole in the game as well. Jaden Gramlich and Demaya Parker. That's the starting five for the Lady Airedale. Second foul shot. Got them both. And just like that, it's a five-point game. Alma leads it by five. Coming up on seven minutes left here in the game. Parker gets it across midcourt, just barely. 43-38, Lady Airedales by five. Shot clock down to 15. Some good Van Buren defense. Allen throws it away. Parker was looking inside for Gramlich, and Jaden did not break on the play, and Van Buren gets it back. Here's a three-point shot. Van Buren, no good. The rebound is... Going to be out of bounds, back to Alma. Two Van Buren players kind of collide, chasing that thing down. Hope they're okay. They're okay. So the Lady Airedales have it. They got a five-point lead with 6.38 left. Inbounds comes to Parker, and she lost it. Van Buren picks it up. This is Johnson, drives in, puts it up. No good. Got the rebound. Kicks it outside to Cone. Aspen Cone is bumped. No call. Well, these second chances. Can't give a team like this second chances. Shot clock down to 20. Here's about a 19-footer. It's no good. The rebound, Jaden Gramlich. So finally, the Airedales get it back. Van Buren ran a lot of clock. Did not score in that possession. Now the leads it by five. Two team fouls here in this 
fourth quarter to play, both on the way to Airedales. Van Buren with no fouls as of yet. 6.01 left to play. Almost got it out of bounds. Right in front of Coach Chanley Bottoms in her first year as the Lady Airedale coach. Alma trying to get the inbounds pass, and they do. Barely. Jordan Gramlich's got it. Jordan drives in all the way, puts it up, missed it. Jaden the rebound. Jaden is fouled. It's going to be on the baseline. First team foul here in the fourth quarter on Van Buren. Inbounds comes to Gramlich. Lost her footing. Turns around, shoots it, missed it. A lot of defense and a lot of contact. No foul. And Buren coming back the other way. 5.45 left to play in the game. Alma leads it in a reach-in foul called against Gramlich. Well, that's rough. You got two players on top of you the other direction. No foul. And then you come down here, kind of a touch foul. And that's the third foul called against um, Gramlich. Nope, that's four. Four fouls against Gramlich. And good to have a jump ball, maybe? Yes, we do. It's going to be Alma basketball. Nice play from Jordan. And here comes Isabel Benson back in. So Jaden Gramlich, four fouls here in this game. The inbounds comes. That's a five-second violation. So good defense, Van Buren. And Alma's got it back. 5.32 left to play in the game. Alma by five. Each team with three timeouts left in this game. Here is Aspen Cohn for three. It's good. Van Buren trails it by two. 43 to 41. So eight straight points to open up this fourth quarter. And a foul called against Van Deer, and that is the second foul called against the Lady Pointers here in the fourth quarter. Now with a two-point lead and the ball, they'll have it out of bounds right in front of the bench. Now with just not a lot of depth, these kids are having to play a lot. Van Buren's able to sub in quite a bit. We got a travel. That's on Demaya Parker. So Van Buren has it back with 5:11 left. In a timeout, Coach Bottoms, we'll take it with you. Alma 43, Van Buren 41. We'll be right back. Hey, I'm Brent. I'm Dale, but you have to call me Dragon. Oh, well, then you have to call me Nightwing. All right, Nightwing, let's play a little game. On the count of three, I want you to say your favorite travel center. Don't even think about it, just say it, all right? One, two, three. Workman! <gasps> What's your favorite deli item? Chicken strips! Do we just become best friends? Yeah. All right. Let's go to Workman's. Workman's. Yeah! Back at Claire Bates Arena, Lady Airedale's here in the fourth quarter of play. 5-11 left to play, have a two-point lead, but Van Buren has it back after a turnover. I just mentioned these Alma kids are having to go a lot of minutes tonight. And you'll be that bench is about seven players. Just not very deep. Got some potential help coming. Really good ninth grade class will be on board next year. Faith Sarter and Lauren Settle. Got Anna Swarens. They got some, uh, they got a lot of potential coming. And now they only going to lose a couple of seniors. They'll have a lot of kids back. They're going to lose McKinley McCart and Kylie Poole. That's it. So Van Buren gets the inbounds pass, and here we go. Five minutes left here in the game. Van Buren down by two. We get a little give and go, and that's going to be an offensive foul. You betcha. Alma gets it back. Jason Harris with the call on that, and Alma's got it on the baseline, up two. Kind of lowered her shoulder there a little bit. Inbounds comes to Isabel Benson. Benson trying to get it across midcourt. Gets it back to Gramlich. Gramlich breaks it across midcourt. And Alma throws it away again. 
And Van Buren had it knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay with VB with 4.45 left down the up two. Inbounds comes. Van Buren shoots a three. It's no good. The rebound. Van Buren gets it back. They put it up. It's blocked out of bounds. Van Buren won, won in some free throws. They've already got 16 of those. Van Buren gets the inbounds pass. Corners trail it by two. Here's a drive to the basket. No good. Nope. It rolls in. And a foul. So Van Buren's tied it, a chance to go back in front. They have not led since the first half. And that was led it all the way here in the second half. Ten straight for Van Buren to start the fourth quarter of play. And the free throw is good. Got them both. I got one out of one out of one, a three-point play. Van Buren 44 to 43. 17 foul shots to two. And that is absolutely the difference in the game. No doubt about it. That's kept Van Buren in it. Now I'm a down one. 414 left. Gramlick in trouble. Kicks it outside. Shot clock down to 12. Parker has it outside. Shot clock at seven. They got to get something going. And they throw it away. Van Buren's got to run out, and they're going to have a three-point lead. Van Buren by three, with 3.51 left to play in the game. Here comes uh, the Lady Airedales coming back the other way at a jump ball. It's going to be Van Buren possession. Well, that's the situation where Grandma should have just taken the ball to the basket. She was trying to be unselfish, very unselfish player. And just could not get the pass off in time. Van Buren on a jump ball gets the ball back. And they've outscored the Lady Airedales here in this fourth quarter of play, 13 to nothing. Johnson has it, kicks it outside. Moving it around. Here's a shot, no good. The rebound, Jordan Gramlin. Lady Airedales need a basket badly. Alma throws it down low, and they hang on to it. That's Jaden Gramlick. Jaden lost it. And a scramble for it. Van Buren gets it back. Not even a chance to get a shot up. So Van Buren up three with three minutes left. And here and kicking things around. Henry had it. This is Johnson going to launch a three. It's uh, in and out, no good. The rebound, Alma. Here come the Lady Airedales. Alma needs some points. They trail it by three with 2.39 left. Here's Gramlick all the way up and in. So the Lady Airedales, a much needed basket right there. And they cut it to one, 46 45, with 2.25 left here in the game. And we got a timeout. Van Buren coach Michael Kenny, 219 left on the clock. Van Buren 46, Alma 45. We'll be right back. Now that we're finally here, what's your favorite homemade jelly or jam? Peach jam! <laughs> Me too! Yeah, wow. Look at all the amazing honeys and jams and all these other goodies. Wow. Excuse me, ma'am. That looks delicious. <laughs> Oh, burger, that's burger, burger. They're really good. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. Look at the wide variety of gifts. Wow. Oh, yeah. Workman's. Yeah. Two minutes and 19 seconds left in the game, and Van Buren's got it after a timeout. 21 seconds on the shot clock. They lead down about one, 46-45. Here from Clear Bates Arena. Crunch time. It's been a strange game. Almost got 10 made three-point baskets. That's a season high. Van Buren, on the other hand, 
They were down by as many as 10, but they hung around because of foul shots. They are 16 for 17 from the line. And that's really the difference. Alma just one out of two. 2.15 left to play, and Van Buren leads it by one. Here's a three-point shot from outside. Missed everything. A rebound. Van Buren gets another. And a foul called against Alma. They got a rebound and then a foul called against the Lady Airedales. That's the fifth team foul here in this quarter. So more free throws for Van Buren. This will be 19. Of course, we have the new rules, the no more one and one. This will be two foul shots after five in each quarter. And the free throws up, and that one's short. So the Lady Airedales, two minutes and eight seconds left, trailing by one. Hope to get the ball back after a miss, and they do. They miss both of them. So Alma gets it back. Here's a late breakout pass, and going to be tipped off of Alma. I don't know about that. Chan Lee not arguing with it. Looked like Van Buren got the uh, hands up, but it goes off of McCart. So two minutes left, and Van Buren leads Alma by one, 46-45. Huge game for Van Buren, no doubt, as far as the girls battling for a playoff. Here's a drive, no good. Van Buren Johnson got it back and in. Well, the offensive rebounds are killing Alma. Alma down by five, down by three. Jordan Graham with a minute 35 left to play. Jordan drives in, puts it up, draws a foul. And what do you know, foul shots for the Lady Air does. That'll be four in this game. And Jordan Gramlick going to shoot the free throws with a minute 32 left. So Jordan Gramlick's had a nice game, a chance to get down a, a little bit closer with a minute 32 left. First one's up and good. Jordan's got eight points, nine rebounds. Solid effort. Van Buren by two, and one more free throw coming. Got them both. So the Lady Airedales uh, trail it by one with a minute 32 left. Van Buren kicks it down to Johnson. Lost it. Stolen away by the Lady Airedales. Gramlick's got it. Team fouls are four on Van Buren and five on Alma. So from here on out, everybody's shooting foul shots. Demaya Parker has it. A minute five left to play in the game. Parker outside to Jordan Gramlick. Jordan to McCart. Under a minute left now. McCart kicks it outside to Maya Parker. Back to Gramlick. Shot clock at six. Gramlick drives in, had it blocked. Foul shots coming for the Lady Airedales. Foul called against Van Buren. That's on J.C. Odom. She's a 5'10 junior. And uh, Jaden Gramlick, one out of two at the line. Chance to tie it right here. And she does. One more coming for Jaden Gramlick. Alma leads it by one, and a timeout, Coach Bottoms. 30-second timeout. Oh, brother, this is a uh, tension right now, boys. 45 seconds left, Alma up by one, 49-48. So four straight free throws for the Lady Airedales, who now have shot six foul shots. They are five out of six here in this game, and boy, those are big ones here late. And the Lady Airedales take a one-point lead with 45.4 left to play in the game. Van Buren, a lot of options. They've got a ton of options, including Aspen Cohn. They may be drawing something up for her. Van Buren coming in tonight, four and six in the conference. They got a big one Friday. They got some big games left. We'll be in Harrison. That'll be a head-to-head -head battle right there. Forty-five 
seconds left here in the game. Alma leads it 49-48. Here comes Van Buren across midcourt. Shot clock at 30. This is Aspen Cohn. Dribbles in, kicks it outside. Three-point shots on the way. It's in and out. No good. Rebounded by the way to Airedales. Shot clock is off. 30 seconds left. Gramlick gets it across midcourt. Again, the shot clock is off. Van Buren's got a foul. Or hope that Alma misses the shot and they get a foul. That's going to send Jordan Gramlick to the charity stripe with 19 seconds left in the game. It's a 35-second shot clock. They missed the shot with 32. And that meant no more shot clocks in this game, at least in regulation. Oh, the first one's good. Jaden's got one more. Or Jordan, I beg your pardon. Jordan's got 10 points in this game now. And a double-double at 10 rebounds as well. Next three throws up and good. So the Lady Airedales, six straight points all from the line, lead it by three with 16 seconds left. And a timeout, Michael Kenny. Holy cow, full timeout. Alma by three, we'll be right back. Spartan General Contractors is a construction company equipped with highly trained and experienced individuals ready to support you with your next construction project. Residential or commercial, Spartan has the resources needed to help you achieve your final goal. One of our main objectives at Spartan is to keep your project on time and within your budget. While the thoughts of your next construction job can seem complex and overwhelming, let Spartan General Contractors help alleviate that stress and make your next project become reality. You're watching Airwaves Media. Kevin Taylor and Airwaves Media, we are back at Clara Bates Arena. 14 seconds left here in this game. The Lady Airedales have a three-point lead. 51-48, it's 14.7 on the clock. So Van Buren could do a couple of things. They could take a quick two if they got it inside and then foul. Or obviously, they could take a, an attempt at three-point shot. So we'll see what Kenny decides to do, the coach. So the inbounds we come. Van Buren, 12 seconds left. Here we go. Johnson, top of the circle for three. It's up. No good! Rebounded by the way to the Airedales. How sweet it is, baby! 3.5 to go, Alma by three. That's why you play the game, kids. That's why you play the game. Grandma kept the line. She'll shoot two. What an effort from Jaden and Jordan. Kylie pull everybody on that bench. First one's up. That's it. That's it. It's over. Elmo's going to win this ball game. Lady Airedale's by four with 3.5 seconds left. Grimlick has got 13 points. Alma leads it by five. And that's it. Alma's going to win the ball game. So, Harrison, there you go. Final score, Alma 53, Van Buren 48. 15 points for Kylie Poole, 13 points for Jordan Gramlick and the Lady Airedales get their second conference win. They do it on the road. First win over Van Buren since 2014. And they're certainly going to enjoy this one tonight. Getting ready for the boys game. That'll be up in about 10 minutes, and we'll be back. Stay tuned. Here at the University of Arkansas Fort Smith, we do things differently. Because here, learning doesn't just happen on screens and in books, we learn through action. With degree plans that are on our terms, whether in class or online. And because UAEFS is the most affordable four-year campus in Arkansas, we can do it all without going into debt. 
So when we graduate, we don't just have a diploma, we have a resume that will launch our careers. Lumber One is a locally owned lumber yard located in Van Buren, Arkansas, down on Industrial Park Road. We've been in business since 2002, and our vision is to provide quality building materials to the professional builder and the do-it-yourselfer at competitive prices. Lumber One offers a full line of lumber, unfinished and finished plywood, engineered wood, cedar products, and LP smart siding and trim, along with access to James Hardy siding and other pre-finished siding. We also carry roofing, insulation materials, drywall, and wood sidings like shiplap siding, cedar lap and gap, and car siding. Our full line door shop can handle all your door, window, and trim needs. We offer several different exterior door and glass options from Thermatru, MAI Doors, and Western Reflections. We also stock several different interior door styles from Gelled Wen with access to their entire interior door line and others. We have a full-time estimator on staff who can do blueprint takeoffs and estimated material list for whatever project you have. He can work with contractors or homeowners to help you get your project started and answer any questions you may have. You'll also have access to an outside sales representative that will be there throughout the building process from start to finish. Our mission is to provide service at a level that differentiates us as the best in the marketplace. Lumber One, where service still matters. In 1886, aluminum was developed. The first Coca-Cola was sold. The Statue of Liberty was dedicated. And Citizens Bank and Trust in Crawford County opened for business. We say they don't make things like they used to. And maybe that's true. But for over 130 years, Citizens has served the residents of Crawford County with the best financial products and services available. And like aluminum, Coca-Cola, and the Statue of Liberty, we plan on being around for a while. Citizens Bank and Trust. That's my bank for all of Crawford County. Accidents are never fun. Don't take your vehicle to just anyone. The professional team at Autoplex is committed to quality first and your complete satisfaction. Our ASE certified technicians will repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition efficiently and quickly with a warranty on all repairs. On-site insurance filing and rental cars available. At Autoplex, we look forward to making your experience with us easy in our state-of-the-art facility. Autoplex Collision Repair. Quality first, always. Crabtree RV Center, leading the River Valley in sales and service for over 70 years. Founded in 1950, Crabtree RV Center has grown into one of the largest family-owned and operated RV dealerships in Northwest Arkansas. Located on 17 acres, including a 26,000 square foot indoor showroom, Crabtree RV Center has everything you need all in one convenient location. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, Arkansas, making your family's dreams come true. We are not a perfect church filled with perfect people who have their life all together. We struggle with our marriages, sometimes we are judgmental and at times hypocritical. So if you are not perfect like us, you'll fit in perfectly. First Baptist Church is a group of people who believe Jesus is the answer to what has gone wrong in our world and to what has gone wrong in our own lives. Church for us is community. Friends who belong together and people who love and serve the community of Alma are home. We would love for you to join us. We promise you'll fit in perfectly. Heritage Portraits has proudly provided photography services for the River Valley and surrounding areas for over 20 years, including school photography and yearbooks, youth sports leagues, corporate photography, studio sessions, and event photography. Have you been meaning to order your child's school photos? Walk-ins are welcomed, and we offer on-site printing. We are located at 402 Webster Street in Van Buren. Contact us today. We're ready to photograph you. Hey. I'm Brent. I'm Dale. But you have to call me Dragon. Oh, well, then you have to call me Nightwing. All right, Nightwing. Let's play a little game. On the count of three, I want you to say your favorite travel center. Don't even think about it. Just say it, all right? One, two, three. Work Mint! What's your favorite deli item? Chicken strips! Do we just become best friends? Yeah. All right. Let's go to Work Mint. Work Mint. Yeah! Now that we're finally here, what's your favorite homemade jelly or jam? Peach jam! <gasps> Me too! Yeah. Wow. Look at all the amazing honeys and jams and all these other goodies. Wow. Excuse me, ma'am. That looks delicious. Oh, burger, that's my burger. They're really good. 
Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. Look at the wide variety it gets. Wow. Oh, yeah. Workman's. Yeah. Spartan General Contractors is a construction company equipped with highly trained and experienced individuals ready to support you with your next construction project. Residential or commercial, Spartan has the resources needed to help you achieve your final goal. One of our main objectives at Spartan is to keep your project on time and within your budget. While the thoughts of your next construction job can seem complex and overwhelming, let Spartan General Contractors help alleviate that stress and make your next project become reality. Omega Car and Truck Accessories would like to invite you to come by and take a tour of our new retail showroom behind Brahms in Alma. Interactive working displays and a fully stocked warehouse allow you to pick out today's hottest accessories and get them installed fast. Wheels and tires, audio video, LED lighting, steps, lift kits, bed liners, custom interiors, towing, computer cut window tinting, Omega does it all. And with certified technicians, we guarantee the job will be done right. If customer service and value are important to you, choose Omega Car and Truck Accessories. Here at the University of Arkansas Fort Smith, we do things differently. Because here, learning doesn't just happen on screens and in books, we learn through action. With degree plans that are on our terms, whether in class or online. And because UAEFS is the most affordable four-year campus in Arkansas, we can do it all without going into debt. Here in Arkansas, down on Industrial Park Road, we've been in business since 2002 and our vision is to provide quality building materials to the professional builder and to the do-it-yourselfer at competitive prices. Lumber One offers a full line of lumber, unfinished and finished plywood, engineered wood, cedar products and LP smart siding and trim, along with access to James Hardy siding and other pre-finished siding. We also carry roofing, insulation materials, drywall and wood sidings like shiplap siding, cedar lap and gap, and car siding. Our full line door shop can handle all your door, window and trim needs. We offer several different exterior door and glass options from Thermatru, MAI doors, and Western Reflections. We also stock several different interior door styles from Gelled Wen with access to their entire interior door line and others. We have a full-time estimator on staff who can do blueprint takeoffs and estimated material list for whatever project you have. He can work with contractors or homeowners to help you get your project started and answer any questions you may have. You'll also have access to an outside sales representative that will be there throughout the building process from start to finish. Our mission is to provide service at a level that differentiates us as the best in the marketplace. Lumber One, where service still matters. Lumber One is a locally owned lumber yard located in Van Buren, Arkansas, down on Industrial Park Road. We've been in business since 2002, and our vision is to provide quality building materials to the professional builder and to the do-it-yourselfer at competitive prices. Lumber One offers a full line of lumber, unfinished and finished plywood, engineered wood, cedar products, and LP smart siding and trim, along with access to James Hardy siding and other pre-finished siding. We also carry roofing, insulation materials, drywall and wood sidings like shiplap siding, cedar lap and gap, and car siding. Our full line door shop can handle all your door, window and trim needs. We offer several different exterior door and glass options from Thermatru, MAI doors, and Western Reflections. We also stock several different interior door styles from Gelled Wen, with access to their entire interior door line and others. We have a full-time estimator on staff who can do blueprint takeoffs and estimated material list for whatever project you have. He can work with contractors or homeowners to help you get your project started and answer any questions you may have. You'll also have access to an outside sales representative that will be there throughout the building process from start to finish. Our mission is to provide service at a level that differentiates us as the best in the marketplace. Lumber One, where service still matters. You're watching Airwaves Media. Well, the way the Airedales get that victory tonight, huge win for Coach Chanton Lee Bottoms. Her first uh, 5A West road win against uh, Van Buren.
team that was tied for fourth place with Harrison. So the big win for the Lady Airedales. Big game for senior Kylie Poole. Had 15 points, five threes. And uh, boy, I tell you, she got four of those in the first half, one in the second half. Alma had a 10-point lead, fell behind by three, and then into the game with eight straight free throws. And they pick up the win tonight as they get the W by a score of 53 to 48. Now we've got the boys game and the Airedales and the Pointers. It's a huge game for both teams and for both schools. The conference standings, Alma's 10 and 0. Van Buren's 8 and 2. So if you do the math, you win tonight, that's it. You're the conference champion. First time since 2012. Van Buren is 19 and 7. And they play very well at home. They're 11 and 4 at home. The Airedales are 10 and 0. They've won 11 straight games. The school record for wins, in case you're wondering, is 16. And that was set back in uh, parts of two seasons. 2011, of course, state championship run. And then to open up the year in 2011, 2012, the following year. So a chance to perhaps chase history. And the record for consecutive wins, 16 right now, it's 11. And for Coach Lincoln, he said, obviously, the biggest key is uh, you cannot dig an early hole. They've been doing that a lot. They were down a bunch, 12 points after one quarter against Russellville on Friday night. They were down by eight against Solomon Springs last week. They were down nine against Mountain Home earlier. They just cannot dig a hole against this team. Van Buren too good. They get too much offense. So Camden Kerr starting the game for the Airedales. Monty Smith has had a nice junior campaign. Miles Kendrick had 19 points against VB the last time out. Israel Towns Robinson and the sophomore Easton Boggs. So that's the Alma starters. Now let's meet the Van Buren team. Van Buren is coached by Brad Autry his fifth year. Michael McDonald, former Alma player in his third year. Jeff Grinder his first year as an assistant coach. And Van Buren, they got a lot of options. They got a lot of good players. Trenton Cooley, outstanding. Jackson Cazell, outstanding. Glavin McDonald, a senior. 6'3 shooter. You gotta watch him. He can play. Drew Brazel. Trenton Cooley. Here we go, the Airedales had a big lead the first time they played Van Buren. They held on for dear life and won it by two. 62-60. That was then, this is now. So this is the second meeting this, uh, this season. Alma has not had a season sweep of Van Buren since night, or 2005. They haven't won. They've won two games in a season against Van Buren just a couple of times. 2005 and the last time being 1974. So Brad Autry is a great coach. He'll have his guys ready and Dominic Lincoln has got the Airedales ready to go, ready to get this thing going. We got a large crowd, big crowd on hand here at Claire Bates Arena. And the opening tips won by the Airedales. Downs Robinson had the big game last Friday night. Easton Boggs squares up for a three. Got it! Down by three. That's a good sign right there when Easton gets that first shot to drop in like any shooter. 7.40 left here in the first quarter. Down by three. And Van Buren throws it away. So the Airedales have it back. 7.33 left here in this opening quarter of play. And big crowd on hand. Uh, Alma student section with blackout. They got everybody got black shirts on over there. Kermonti Smith goes down low to Izzy. Back to Kermonti Smith and back to Izzy. 
Izzy turns around, lays it in. Towns Robinson in the air down is up 5 0. Here's a baseline shot for Van Buren. It's no good. Rebounded by Miles Kendrick. So the Airedales off to a 5 to nothing start. Miles Kendrick gets it across midcourt. Talked to Darren Stoller, longtime assistant. He felt like they had really good practice. He thought they were ready to go. Camden Curd over to Boggs. Back to Kendrick. Shot clock down to 10. Here's a three-point shot from Miles. It's up. No good. The rebound, Izzy. Going to reset the, uh, the shot clock. Here's Camden Kurt for three. It's in and out. No good. And the rebound, that's going to be on Miles Kendrick over the back. So the Airedales fall back on defense. Six and a half to play in the first quarter. It's a first-team foul here in this basketball game. The first one on the Airedales. Jump shot for Van Buren's no good. That's another rebound for Izzy. Couple of rebounds for Towns Robinson. Alma up 5 0. They got it back. Kermani Smith has really had some big shots and some big foul shots. He's played well of late. They get it down to Izzy, and he's going to have it tipped away. Here comes Van Buren on a run out. Layup, good. <laughs> Jackson Cazell, good player. And the Airedales have the lead cut down to three. Five and a half to play here. That's a pass goes out of bounds, but Van Buren can't get to it. Trenton Cooley trying to track it down, could not get there in time. And the Airedales have it right in front of the scorer's table. Inbounds comes to Kermani Smith. Back over to Camden Courage, who's going to set the offense. And you're in very good defensive team. Five to two Airedales, 520 left here in the first quarter. And a foul called against Van Deer, and that's their first foul. They almost got it on the baseline. First foul. And that's on uh, Denton. Inbounds comes to Camden Curd. Camden off the glass, missed it. Rebound, uh, Van Buren's got it. Izzy just could not get his hand on it. Five to two, Alma by three. Here's a, a three-point shot for Van Buren. It's good. So we're tied up at five with 4.55 left in the first quarter. Kermani Smith throws it away. Here comes Van Buren. They got numbers. Four on two. And going to be an offensive foul. You betcha. Easton Bucks takes that, uh, that charge, and the Airedales have it back. 447 left here in the first quarter of play, and we're tied up at five. Luke Folkerts, longtime basketball coach, was the junior high coach for a while at Alma. He used to call that getting hamburgers. When you got a charge, he said, the next day at practice, you got a hamburger. He bought the kids a hamburger. Alma's got it back. They kick it outside. Shot clock at 15. Kendrick kicks it outside the curd. They got a hurry. Shot clock down to eight. Here's a shot, no good. A lot of contact, no foul. Van Buren running. Warner's a chance to take their first lead. They're going to jack up a deep three. No good. Rebound number three for Towns Robinson. I thought at first it might have been a pass, and, man, he jacked that baby up. That was in the A3 range right there, 23 feet. Teams have traded. Early runs, Alma the first five, Van Buren the last five. Three minutes and 40 seconds left here in the first quarter of play. Hermione Smith gonna take a three-point shot. It's no good, rebound Van Buren. Grant and Cooley moving it around. 
Here's a drive up, no good. And that's going to be Alma Ball. Gazelle tried to hang on to it, couldn't. Tyree McGill will check in for the Airedales. He'll give Miles Kendrick a breather. Tyree's had a great junior year for the Airedales. That's the thing about this team. Everybody kind of understands and knows their, their role. And that's, you know, that's a sign of a good team. But, boy, you don't always see that with such a young team. Everybody kind of, no complaints. Everybody knows their playing time. And they come off the bench. Not, they only start five at a time. We got a foul called on Van Buren. And that is on, I believe, on Cazelle. Yep, that's on Cazelle, his first. That's three team fouls here in the first quarter on Van Buren. Alma's only got one foul. Under three minutes left here in the first quarter. And Tyree McGill, baseline, dribbles in. Lost it, going to be an offensive foul. Two forty-five left in the first quarter, and the corners have it back. Defensive struggle early. And here in, in Alma tied up at five with two forty-five left on the first quarter clock. Matthew Rogers will check in. Here's a jump shot, good. Van Buren goes in front. That's a 7-0 run for VB. They lead it seven to five. Uh, Reed looking down low, gets it to box. Three-point shot, baseline's up, good. Easton comes right back at you. He's got two of those, and Alma goes back on top, 8-7. Three-point shot, Van Buren, in and out, no good. The putback is good. Max is Gazelle, no block out. Van Buren back in front. Alma by, or trails it by one with two minutes left here in the first quarter of play. Well, so far, a good night shooting threes for the Airedales. Here is Tyree McGill for three, and that's no good. And the Airedales back on defense. Here comes Van Buren up one. We've got a foul called on Tyree. Each team has committed three fouls here in the first quarter. That's the first on McGill. Matthew Rogers will check in. Christopher Salazar in the game for the first time for the Airedales. Van Buren gets a backup that will check in for the first time. Ellie Eli Johnson checks in for the first time. So Pointers have it with a minute 42 left up one. They've got it underneath their basket. Three point shots on the way. It's good. Jackson Cazell. And Van Buren, in the midst of a 12 to three run, leads Alma by four. So each team's had some runs. Matthew Rogers had it, passed it off. Salazar thinking about it. Outside it goes McGill. Shot clock down to 10. Chris Salazar drives in, puts it up, missed it. And rebound, Van Buren's got it. One minute left in the first quarter, Van Buren by four. Here's a drive, that's gonna be a offensive foul. That's a fourth team foul called against Van Buren. And that is the second foul called against Glavin McDonald. That's big right there. Airedales trail it by four. 45 seconds left here in the first quarter. Alma nearly lost it. Tyree McGill runs it down. 40 seconds now. 20 on the shot clock. McGill drives inside, passes, throws it away. So the Airedales a little stagnant here at the end of the first quarter, which you might expect. Big crowd and hostile environment. Shot clock is off. Van Buren's going to lead it after one. Let's see what the score will be. Right now it's 12 to 8. Here's a baseline jumper. No good. Rebounded by the Airedales. Three seconds left. 
And Matthew Rogers gets it off. It's no good. And that'll do it at the end of one. Van Buren 12 and Alma 8. Let's take time out. In 1886, aluminum was developed, the first Coca-Cola was sold, the Statue of Liberty was dedicated, and Citizens Bank and Trust in Crawford County opened for business. We say they don't make things like they used to, and maybe that's true, but for over 130 years, Citizens has served the residents of Crawford County with the best financial products and services available. And like aluminum, Coca-Cola, and the Statue of Liberty, we plan on being around for a while. Citizens Bank and Trust, that's my bank for all of Crawford County. Accidents are never fun. Don't take your vehicle to just anyone. The professional team at Autoplex is committed to quality first and your complete satisfaction. Our ASE certified technicians will repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition, efficiently and quickly with a warranty on all repairs, on-site insurance filing and rental cars available. At Autoplex, we look forward to making your experience with us easy in our state-of-the-art facility. Autoplex Collision Repair, quality first, always. Kevin Taylor and Airwaves Media back with you from Claire Bates Arena. Pointers will have the first possession to start the second quarter of play. Up four, 12 to eight. And Lincoln talked about this is a team you do not, you can't fall behind by 15, 16 points. Too many good players. Right now they lead it by four. Too many, too much offense. Then you're in a lot of options. And they've got the early advantage. They skip it down low to Cooley, turns around, puts it up, and in. Pretty good set, got it to drop in. Van Buren leads it by six, the biggest lead by either team here in the first half. Eddie checks in for the first time for the Airedales. Chris Salazar gonna launch a three, it's no good. And a rebound, Van Buren. Eddie Tate's in, Tyree McGill, Chris Salazar. Here's a drive by Cooley, it's no good. The rebound, Van Buren, they get it right back and stolen away by McGill. And then we got a jump ball, maybe. Nope, no jump ball, Alma gets it back. Very physical, as you might expect. Van Buren's gonna guard you, they're gonna get in your britches, no doubt about it. Salazar. In the lane, puts it up, no good. The rebound, tipped down, they almost got the rebound. Baseline shots up, good. Matthew Rogers. Alma trails by four. Here's a wide open three for Van Buren. You can't let him get that open. That's Drew Brazel. And Van Buren, biggest lead tonight, 17-10. Here is McGill, lays it up, no good, but he's fouled. He will shoot foul shots with 6.25 to play in the first half. He got in late, the Lady Airedales knocked off Van Buren earlier tonight, 53 to 48. First free throw for Tyree off for, uh, the front end, no good. Now the trails by seven. Tyree got one out of two. Alma down six. Just got to hang around. They've had a lot of magic in the midst of this 11-game winning streak, but, uh, boy, most of it of late at home. Van Buren drives in. Counted and a foul. Drew Brazel will shoot the free throw of Van Buren by eight. Chance for an old fashioned three point play and Lincoln gonna bring his starters back in the game. Weston Wilcox, good looking sophomore athlete, good baseball player checks in first time for Van Buren. Free throw, <laughs> took about eight minutes but dropped in Van Buren by nine, 20 to 11. So the Airedales with uh, four of their starters back in the game, including Towns Robinson double team. Baseline shot for Kendrick is no good. The rebound, Van Buren with the rebound.
Van Buren, good ball movement. Three point shots on the way, it's good. So Van Buren leads Alma by 12. 540 left in the first half. It's the 30 second timeout. Let's stay right here. Alma back home on Friday night, senior night. Greenbrier in the house. Alma's got Greenbrier, then Greenwood, then it'll be up on the uh, up the hill, so to speak. The last game will be at Mountain Home. So a win tonight, and Alma will bring home the banner. First conference championship since 2012, but a lot of work to do tonight. But hey, what's new? This is where they, that's what they've been doing. They've been falling behind in the first half. They were down 12 against Russellville, and they're down 12 again tonight. So the Airedales had an early lead. Alma led it five nothing, but Van Buren a 25 to six run since then, 23 to six run. Hudson Boggs in the game for the Airedales. Fermani Smith has it. Hudson Boggs kicks it outside. Fermani thought about it, gonna drive, kick it outside. Miles Kendrick for three. It's no good, and one and done again. Another rebound for Van Buren. Alma not connecting from deep in the first half. They trail it by 12. Furious Gazelle drives in, floater in the lane, no good. The rebound, Alma. Camden Curry with the rebound. You get it down low to Izzy. Izzy turns, spins, puts it up, no good. Johnson on the rebound. And Van Buren back the other way, up by 12. Friday night, Alma back home. Van Buren will be at Harrison Friday night. Harrison playing for its life. They're trying to scratch and claw for that fifth playoff spot to travel. But the Airedales just need some points. They need some baskets. And checking back in the game is Easton Boggs. He's got six of Alma's 11 points. He's got a couple three-point baskets, and that's really been about it. Tyree McGill has one point. Two points for Izzy. And Kendrick's got the other. That's a bad pass. Oh, the Airedales get it right back. Here's Kermani Smith thinking about it. Floater in the lane, up off the glass, no good. The rebound, Van Buren. There's nothing dropping for the Airedales. Van Buren drives in, puts it up and in. Van Buren, 25 to 11. This is an 11 nothing run for Van Buren. Ellis had some pretty good looks. Just cannot get anything to drop in, and fouls only one apiece for each team here in this second quarter. Hudson Boggs will check out Tyree McGill back in. Ramani Smith gets the inbounds pass. 3.15 to play here in the first half. Van Buren by 14, 25 to 11. Ramani Smith drives in contact, and wouldn't you know it, did not get the friendly roll, and he'll shoot two foul shots. Alma trying to get back on the board. They only have one free throw during this run. Van Buren's been on. It's 14 to 10, and now it's 25 to 11. Ramani short. We'll get one more. Next one's on the way. He got one out of two, and it's 25 to 12. Mm -hmm. 
So Trenton Cooley checks in again for Van Buren. Allen's going to have some pressure in the backcourt. Approaching three minutes to play in the first half. It's 25-12, Van Buren by 13. And we got a blocking foul called on the Airedales. That's the first foul on Towns Robinson. 2.57 left here in the first half. Van Buren's got it out of bounds. Van Buren moving it around. Got a new 35 shot clock reset after that foul. Trenton Cooley. There's a drive up. No good. Rebounded by Izzy. There it is. Get it across midcourt. Looking for some offense. They trail it by 13. Ramani Smith. Covered up pretty good there. Tyree McGill in the lane, puts it up, a little floater, and no good. Just not getting any of the balls to tip the drop in. And Van Buren takes advantage. Here's a shot outside, no good. The rebound, Van Buren off the glass for two. 27-12, well, we'll see what you're made of now. They almost had this incredible 11 game winning streak, but they've been behind. But uh, not against a team like Van Buren. See what kind of toughness they can come up with tonight. 27 12, Van Buren leads it. Here's Cazell, floater no good. Izzy with his fifth rebound. 135 left in the first half. The Airedales drive in and scoop and score. No good. Man, oh man, oh man. That's about. Four or five of those just not dropping in. Van Buren gets the rebound up by 15. Twenty-seven to seven run here in this first half in the pointers. Here's a jumper, top of the circle, no good. Another rebound for Towns Robinson. That's six. But the Airedales trail it by 15 with a minute left to play in the first half. Fermani Smith from Three-point land, got it. Mercy. Needed that in a big way. Alma down by 12, 27-15. That's her first field goal here in the second quarter. Second, second field goal in the second quarter. They trail 12-8 after one quarter of play, and right now they're down 12. Late in the first half, 40 seconds to play. Here's a shot in the lane, no good. That's going to be over the back, foul against Van Buren. That's only the third foul, team foul in this quarter against VB. And Miles Kendrick checks in for the Airedales. Matthew Rogers will be out there as well. Only field goals, Matthew Rogers with a two-pointer. And that three-point shot from Kermani Smith, his first field goal tonight. So shot clock is off. 30 seconds left here in the first half. Alma down 27-12. And some good defense from Van Buren. Pointers come in with a record of eight and two in the conference. They get a steal. So they can take the last shot. Nobody in foul trouble, but the Pointers can take the last shot. Here's a jumper in the lane, up and good. And that'll do it. Halftime, Van Buren leads Alma 29 to 15. Let's take time out. Crabtree RV Center, leading the River Valley in sales and service for over 70 years. Founded in 1950, Crabtree RV Center has grown into one of the largest family owned and operated RV dealerships in Northwest Arkansas. Located on 17 acres, including a 26,000 square foot indoor showroom, Crabtree RV Center has everything you need all in one convenient location. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, Arkansas. Making your family's dreams come true. We are not a perfect church filled with perfect people who have their life all together. We struggle with our marriages. Sometimes we are judgmental and at times hypocritical. So if you are not perfect like us, you'll fit in perfectly. 
First Baptist Church is a group of people who believe Jesus is the answer to what has gone wrong in our world and to what has gone wrong in our own lives. Church for us is community. Friends who belong together and people who love and serve the community of Alma are home. We would love for you to join us. We promise you'll fit in perfectly. Heritage Portraits has proudly provided photography services for the River Valley and surrounding areas for over 20 years, including school photography and yearbooks, youth sports leagues, corporate photography, studio sessions, and event photography. Have you been meaning to order your child's school photos? Walk-ins are welcome, and we offer on-site printing. We are located at 402 Webster Street in Van Buren. Contact us today. We're ready to photograph you. Hey. I'm Brent. I'm Dale. But you have to call me Dragon. Oh, well, then you have to call me Nightwing. All right, Nightwing. Let's play a little game. On the count of three, I want you to say your favorite travel center. Don't even think about it. Just say it, all right? One, two, three. Work Mint! <gasps> What's your favorite deli item? Chicken strips! Do we just become best friends? Yeah. All right. Let's go to Work Mint. Work Mint. Yeah! All right. Now that we're finally here, What's your favorite homemade jelly or jam? Peach jam! Yeah. Me too! Yeah. Wow. Look at all the amazing honeys and jams. And all these other goodies. Wow. Excuse me, ma'am. That looks delicious. Oh, oh burger. That's burger. They're really good. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. Look at the wide variety it gets. Wow. Oh, yeah. Workman's! Yeah! yeah. Spartan General Contractors is a construction company equipped with highly trained and experienced individuals ready to support you with your next construction project. Residential or commercial, Spartan has the resources needed to help you achieve your final goal. One of our main objectives at Spartan is to keep your project on time and within your budget. While the thoughts of your next construction job can seem complex and overwhelming, let Spartan General Contractors help alleviate that stress and make your next project become reality. Omega Car and Truck Accessories would like to invite you to come by and take a tour of our new retail showroom behind Brahms in Alma. Interactive working displays and a fully stocked warehouse allow you to pick out today's hottest accessories and get them installed fast. Wheels and tires, audio video, LED lighting, steps, lift kits, bed liners, custom interiors, towing, computer cut window tinting, Omega does it all. And with certified technicians, we guarantee the job will be done right. If customer service and value are important to you, choose Omega Car and Truck Accessories. Here at the University of Arkansas Fort Smith, we do things differently. Because here, learning doesn't just happen on screens and in books, we learn through action. With degree plans that are on our terms, whether in class or online. And because UAFS is the most affordable four-year campus in Arkansas, we can do it all without going into debt. So when we graduate, we don't just have a diploma, we have a resume that will launch our careers. Lumber One is a locally owned lumber yard located in Van Buren, Arkansas, down on Industrial Park Road. We've been in business since 2002, and our vision is to provide quality building materials to the professional builder and to the do-it-yourselfer at competitive prices. Lumber One offers a full line of lumber, unfinished and finished plywood, engineered wood, cedar products, and LP smart siding and trim, along with access to James Hardy siding and other pre-finished siding. We also carry roofing, insulation materials, drywall, and wood sidings like shiplap siding, cedar lap and gap, and car siding. Our full line door shop can handle all your door, window, and trim needs. We offer several different exterior door and glass options from Thermatru, MAI Doors, and Western Reflections. We also stock several different interior door styles from Gelled Wen with access to their entire interior door line and others. We have a full-time estimator on staff who can do blueprint takeoffs and estimated material list for whatever project you have. He can work with contractors or homeowners to help you get your project started and answer any questions you may have. You'll also have access to an outside sales representative that will be there throughout the building process from start to finish. 
Our mission is to provide service at a level that differentiates us as the best in the marketplace. Lumber One, where service still matters. In 1886, aluminum was developed. The first Coca-Cola was sold. The Statue of Liberty was dedicated. And Citizens Bank and Trust in Crawford County opened for business. We say they don't make things like they used to. And maybe that's true. But for over 130 years, Citizens has served the residents of Crawford County with the best financial products and services available. And like aluminum, Coca-Cola, and the Statue of Liberty, we plan on being around for a while. Citizens Bank and Trust. That's my bank for all of Crawford County. Accidents are never fun. Don't take your vehicle to just anyone. The professional team at Autoplex is committed to quality first and your complete satisfaction. Our ASE certified technicians will repair your vehicle to pre-accident condition efficiently and quickly with a warranty on all repairs, on-site insurance filing and rental cars available. At Autoplex, we look forward to making your experience with us easy in our state-of-the-art facility. Autoplex Collision Repair. Quality first, always. You're watching Airwaves Media. Halftime is wrapping up and the Airedales find themselves down by 14 points, 29-15. Now we're back home Friday night, senior night against Greenbrier. That's going to be a huge game. And Buren came into play tonight down two with four to go. So the math is real simple. If Alma wins a game, they are the conference champion. Well, if they win tonight, they're the conference champions. But, of course, we'll have to wait and see how things play out the last three. Alma's got Friday night with Greenbrier. they got Greenwood next week. And then the last game will be at Mountain Home. So if Alma wins that, they're okay. They'll be the one seed. They're going to be either the one or the two. Just uh, the preference, of course, is the one. We'll see how it shakes out. Earlier tonight... Chandley Bottoms and the Lady Airedales defeated Van Buren 53 to 48. Crazy game. The Lady Airedales had a 10 point lead after three. Fell behind by three late and then got eight straight free throws to clinch it and won it. 53 48. Big win. That drops Van Buren to four and seven in the conference. Also tonight, Russellville defeated Mountain Home. 65-61, so the Lady Cyclones and the Lady Bombers now tied up. Both are 9-2 and two in the conference. Greenwood won their game. They're 10-1. and one. So that's what's happening in 5A West play tonight. Greenwood defeating Harrison, which dropped to 4-7. and seven. So Van Buren and Harrison both at 4-7. and seven. They will play a big game on Friday night as they will get together up at Harrison. Big game to figure out who's going to be fourth place. Right now, we want to figure out who's going to be first place. Is it going to be Alma? Is it going to be Van Buren? Right now, the Airedales on the short end. 14-point deficit, but they lead Van Buren by two games in the standings. And again, just figuring out where it's all going to stack up at. Van Buren Friday night goes to Harrison. And... They still have to go to Russellville. And the Airedales still have, after tonight, they'll have Greenbrier and Greenwood, and then they'll be at Mountain Home. So pretty tough road for both teams left after tonight's play, trying to get the positioning in the standings. It's going to be their first or second. The Airedales trying to win the conference for the first time since the 2012 campaign. And the Airedales looking for their season sweep against Van Buren. First time that would have happened since back in 2005. Earlier, again, the girls got that win. They snapped an 11-game losing streak. Last time Alma had beaten Van Buren was at the uh, Airedale Arena back on December the 10th, 2014. Won that ball game 64-54 that night. That was... Three head coaches ago. Jane Lee Bottoms in her first year as the head coach. So third quarter about ready to get going. The Airedales are going to have the first possession. They need some offense and some stops. How about a 
15-0 run to start the second half. That would be okay with me. Easton Boggs going to launch a three. It's up, no good. The rebound, Trenton Cooley. Boggs had six points for the Airedales in the first half. Van Buren shoots a three. It's good. So Van Buren leads it now 32-15 to 17-point lead. Miles Kendrick throws it away, and Van Buren steals it, stepped out of bounds. Trenton Cooley did not maintain possession. So the Airedales have it back, 727 left. If anything, uh, after an 11-game winning streak and a night like tonight, certainly can come back in your home arena where you've won nine straight games. Here is Kendrick for three. It's good. Miles Kendrick lights one up in the Airedales trail at 32-18. First three-point basket for Kendrick tonight, and the Airedales down 14. That's going to be a ball tipped out of bounds. Al Alma gets it back. 7.04 left here in this third quarter. And the Airedales get it across midcourt. Need a lot of offense in a short amount of time. They get it to Izzy. Izzy in the lane puts up a little jumper. It's no good. The rebound, Glavin McDonald. So Van Buren, 640 left here in the third, up 14. Cooley going to take a three. It's no good. The rebound towns Robinson. Seventh rebound for Izzy, but rebound's not really the issue. Offense right now. Damani Smith drives in, lays it up, and got the roll. First time they've done that. They've had some go in and out in that first half. Alma trails it by 12. McDonald thinking about it. McDonald had two fouls pretty early, and he came out for a big portion, but he's been back in there. He's a heck of a player. Six minutes left here in the third quarter. Alma down 12. Three-point baseline shot is good. Trenton Cooley. He can light you up. He had 31 recently. He can, he can let it go. Van Buren back in front by 15. Miles Kendrick, Ramani gets it inside. Now they get it back outside. Easton Boggs has it and lost it. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Doesn't matter now. Here comes Van Buren. Gazelle, nice give and go. Lays it up and in. Van Buren by 17. And that is the first second half team foul on the Airedales. Matthew Rogers will check in. 5.27 left. In the third quarter, Alma trails at 37-20. And the free throw, no good. Another rebound for Israel Towns Robinson, and Alma throws it away. Just not very fluid right now. And a timeout, Dominic Lincoln wants a 30-second timeout. We'll take it with you. Alma down by 17. We'll be right back. In 1886, aluminum was developed, the first Coca-Cola was sold, the Statue of Liberty was dedicated, and Citizens Bank and Trust in Crawford County opened for business. We say they don't make things like they used to, and maybe that's true, but for over 130 years, Citizens has served the residents of Crawford County with the best financial products and services available. And like aluminum, Coca-Cola, and the Statue of Liberty, we plan on being around for a while. Citizens Bank and Trust, that's my bank for all of Crawford County. Kevin Taylor and Airwaves Media, we are back. Clear Bates Arena. Alma down by 17. Van Buren's got the basketball after a turnover, and the Airedales trail this game by 17 points. Eddie Quarter up off the bench, giving some words of encouragement to Towns Robinson. Quarter in the ninth grade, Airedales have a big game. Tomorrow night, 7.45 against Greenwood. That's in the conference tournament. 5.15 to play in the third. Van Buren, 37 to 20. Gazelle gets it to Cooley. Moving it around. 
That's Glavin McDonald. Shot clock down to the 10. Here's three point shot. Good. Dan Buren has doubled up the Airedales 40 to 20. Under five minutes left here in this third quarter. Downs Robinson in the lane, puts it up and in. Six points for Towns Robinson. And Airedale's down by 18. Well, the only thing that could get you back in this thing is the shot clock because back in the day, you could just run around and play keep away, but not anymore. You got to shoot it. Van Buren gets one to drop in. Van Buren back up by 20. No more uh, stall ball, if you will. Anthony Rogers thought about it. Ramondi Smith in the lane, puts it off the glass, no good. That's kind of been what's happened tonight. They've only got one of those, maybe two of those to drop in. Van Buren has done a nice job, and Alma hadn't gotten anything to flaw. There's a block, Alma gets it back. I think that was Camden Curd on that block. Van Buren by 20. 3.45 to play in the third quarter, and another turnover, a bad pass goes out of bounds. And Tyree McGill checks in for the Airedales. So the Airedales have about eight, got about 11 minutes and 36 seconds to change the flow of this one down by 20 points. They've been falling behind a lot during this 11 game winning streak and they've been mounting these incredible comebacks. Here's a drive for Van Buren, no good. Rebounded by Easton Boggs. Colby Kimmins, baseball player for the Airedales. <laughs> he went home and told his mom and dad the other night that, uh, man, Friday night's game was like a movie. I mean, all this stuff had to happen late, and it did. Another missed shot for the Airedales and a rebound for Van Buren. And a layup. Van Buren by 22. 44 to 22, and the Airedale's Chris Salazar in the game. Salazar puts it up and in. Salazar gets one to drop in, the Airedale's down 20. Here's a steal, good play from Kermani Smith. Wraparound pass from Gavin McDonald didn't work. Salazar for three in the corner, good. Five in a row for the Airedales who trail it by 17. Two fifteen to play here in this third quarter of play. Glavin McDonald. Shot clock at 20. Brazel had it. Gazelle now. Thought about it. Kicks it back outside. Here's a drive up. No good. Rebounded by the Airedales. Ramani Smith will take a three. It's no good. The rebound, Glavin McDonald. So the Airedales trail it by 17 with a minute 45 left here in the third quarter. Trenton Cooley for three. No good. And the rebound, Alma. So the Airedales trail it by 17. Chance to get within 14, perhaps. Here's a shot in the lane, no good. Rebounded by the Airedale. Salazar puts it up. Offensive foul. Holy cow. <laughs> Fouls on Salazar is first. And that is the second team foul here in this third quarter. And with a minute 24 left, Alma had a couple chances back-to-back -back possessions. It came up empty. Chance to get it. Perhaps down to 11 or 12, but right now they trail it by 17. Here's a drive up and in. Missed it. Tyree McGill with the rebound. He did everything but put it in. Three-point shot for Alma. It's up. Good. Hudson Boggs gets one to drop in. Airedale trail it by 14. A minute left here in the third quarter. Needs some stops. Hamill's got some fouls to give. 
And there's the third foul. That's on Tyree Miguel, I think. Yep. Tyree picks up his third foul. 48 seconds left. The Airedales have it back on defense. Van Buren underneath their goal on the baseline. Van Buren by 14. They get a new shot clock. This is McDonald. Shot clock is off. So here's a wide open three for Van Buren. Good. Alabama 17 as they come down the stretch here in the third quarter. So the Airedale, some signs of life here in the third, but Van Buren just too big of a lead. Right now they lead it by 17. 10 seconds left. Alabama's got it out of bounds. Van Buren's going to get a backup in the game. Gabe Johnson going to check in. we will check in for McDonald. He's got a couple of fouls. He's had a nice game tonight. Fourteen points for Brazel. He's had a nice evening. Ten seconds left here in the third quarter. Armani Smith will get the inbounds pass, and here we go. Obviously, the Airdos need something right here at the end of this third quarter. Three-point shots on the way. It's no good. Tipped in and good. Got it. Chris Salazar climbed the ladder. Alma down 15. At the end of three, it's Van Buren 47 out of 32. We'll be right back. Crabtree RV Center, leading the River Valley in sales and service for over 70 years. Founded in 1950, Crabtree RV Center has grown into one of the largest family-owned and operated RV dealerships in Northwest Arkansas. Located on 17 acres, including a 26,000 square foot indoor showroom, Crabtree RV Center has everything you need all in one convenient location. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, Arkansas, making your family's dreams come true. Heritage Portraits has proudly provided photography services for the River Valley and surrounding areas for over 20 years, including school photography and yearbooks, youth sports leagues, corporate photography, studio sessions, and event photography. Have you been meaning to order your child's school photos? Walk-ins are welcome, and we offer on-site printing. We are located at 402 Webster Street in Van Buren. Contact us today. We're ready to photograph you. Well, the Airedales were down 44-22, or 42-22, and they had a little bit of a run, 10-5 run, to close out the third quarter. But still a long way to go in this one. They trailed by 15 points with just eight minutes left. And here in the first possession to start the fourth quarter of play, Drew Brazel, 14 points. He's had a nice fight for Van Buren. Johnson's got 12. Here's a drive up. No good. Rebound to the Hudson Boggs. Here come the Airedales down by 15. Three-point shot for Easton Boggs. Up. No good. And Van Buren the rebound. Got away with the travel. Here's Johnson. Lays it up and in. Well, he traveled. Got away with one. They let him go and... Here is the Airedales coming back the other way, and that time the foul's called in for the Airedales. Chris Salazar is going to be at the line. Salazar is going to get hit in the head. He's going to be okay. 721 left, Van Buren by 17. Salazar has had a pretty good effort off the bench here tonight. He's at the charity strike, hoping to add to his point total. He's got five points. He's got to get a towel. He got poked in the eye inadvertently. Eddie Webb down there going to take a look at him. 721 left here in the game. Eddie Webb, the longtime Alma trainer. So the Airedale's down 17 with 721 left. It's a tough league. First free throw is off the mark. But anytime you win 10 straight conference games, that makes you a little bit tougher. But the Airedales are going to have their work cut out. If they're unable to come back tonight, they trail it now by 16. 
We'll have three games left, and they would have to win all three to clinch the conference championship. Here's a little drive inside, stolen away, and then picked up by Camden Curd. Seven minutes left for the Airedales. Hudson Boggs outside, gets it down low, throws it away. That's kind of been the night it's been for the Alma Airedales. But that 11-game winning streak, if you start another 11-game winning streak Friday night, you know what that means? That means you're going to be state champions. I mean, <laughs> there would only be like seven games left. So that means uh, you would get that next year. Here's a shot, no good. Ah, oh, dare to dream, kids. Here is Kermani Smith, had it blocked out of bounds. But it's been a great run. The Airedales lost quite a hard schedule to get them ready for the 5A West, and it worked out to perfection. Inbounds com comes to a Camden Kerr, lays it up and in. Now we're down by 14. Yeah, you get that tough schedule to get you ready for the 5A West. It's a tough league. Here's a three-point shot from Van Buren. No good. Carmody Smith, the rebound. That's his third rebound. Alma gets it down low, and they throw it away. Yep, they're just having a hard time. Another turnover, and Van Buren has it back. 6-12 to play. It's also worth noting the Airedales came in 10 and 0. Here's a three-point shot for Van Buren. It's no good. And the rebound box. Uh, during that 10-game streak, they, there's about three of those games that could have gotten away. They could have easily been 7 and 2 or 7 and 3, 8 and 2. Kendrick up and in. Now the trails by 12. But they kept battling. They pulled out some big games at home. Alma cuts it within 12 with uh, five and a half left in the game. That's a trip timeout. It's going to be a full timeout for Brad Autry. 527 left. Nope, 30 second timeout. We'll take it with you. Alma down 12. Right, We'll be right back. Hey, I'm Brent. I'm Dale, but you have to call me Dragon. Oh, well, then you have to call me Nightwing. All right, Nightwing. Let's play a little game. On the count of three, I want you to say your favorite travel center. Don't even think about it, just say it, all right? One, two, three. Workman! What's your favorite deli item? Chicken strips! Do we just become best friends? Yeah. All right. Let's go to Workman's. Workman's. Yeah! Well, the Airedales trailed this game at one point, 42 to 22. And since that time, a very quiet, 15 to 7 run, and the Airedales have gotten within 12 points. Van Buren still has the ball, 19 seconds on the shot clock, 527 left here in this game. Big possessions, obviously, down the stretch in this game. Here is Gazelle's had a nice night. They get it inside up, no good. The rebound, who's got it? Van Buren's got it. It's going to be a travel. For a foul, let's see who the foul's on. Holy cow, they call this foul on the Airedales. Well, that's a 50-50 call. Van Buren gets the call at home. 5-14 left. That is the first fourth quarter team foul on the Airedales. But the bigger picture is Van Buren gets another 35 seconds on a shot clock. So Van Buren out of bounds. Got away with another walk maybe. Here's a nice give and go inside. They get the offensive rebound again. Three point shot for Cooley is in and out. Another rebound Van Buren. Alma cannot corral the rebound. Here's Glavin McDonald for three. It's in and out and this time the Airedales finally hang on to it. It's like a hot potato down there. Where's Mr. Potato Head? Under five minutes left, Alma down 12. Is he? Gets it to Kermani Smith. 
Easton Boggs in the lane, gives the go to Izzy. Izzy's fouled, and he'll shoot two foul shots with 440 left. So the Airedales down 12, a chance to get within 10. 440 left here. Downs Robinson missing on the first one. We'll get one more. One out of two. And it's 11 point game. 49 38, 440 left. So a 16 7 run for the Airedales. We trail it by 11 points. Still a long way to go. And I mean, a long way to go as far as trying to come back. Here's a drive for Van Buren up and in. Van Buren back in front by 13 points. Kendrick puts it up and in. Might have gotten away with a little bit of a walk as well, but uh, the Airedales will cut it to 11 points with 414 left. And it's a, let's see, a 30 second time, oh, full timeout. We'll take a break, we'll come right back after this. Now that we're finally here, what's your favorite homemade jelly or jam? Peach jam! <gasps> Me too! Yeah. Wow. Look at all the amazing honeys and jams and all these other goodies. Wow. Excuse me, ma'am, that looks delicious. Oh, burger, that's my burger. They're really good. Yeah. Yeah. That was amazing. Look at the wide variety of gifts. Wow. Oh, yeah. Workman's! Yeah! You're watching Airwaves Media. Kevin Taylor, and we are back. Claire Bates Arena, want to thank Airwaves Media tonight. Lewis Alexander and Stetson Goodson, Jace Coleman, getting us up and going. Matt Farrell. And the Airedales back on defense. They trail it 51 to 40. 414 left in the game. Still have some time to do some stuff, but you need some, you need some breaks. And you need some uh, some misses for Van Buren and some makes for the Airedales. And it's gonna be a run out, layup for Cooley. Back up by 13. Alma got caught napping there on that inbounds play. Van Buren by 13 again, 53-40. And turnover. Cooley. Van Buren by 15. Camden Kerr kicks it outside. Miles Kendrick drives in the lane, puts it up and in, and a foul. Missed the layup, but he did stop the clock. 342 left. He'll shoot two foul shots. Van Buren by 15 points, and they've led it pretty much all the way. Alma led early 5 0, but Van Buren went in front 12 to 8 after one, led big at halftime and big in the third quarter, and just kind of playing keep away right now, which is what you do when you get a big lead. 342 left, Alma down 14. Kendrick gets one more. It's in and out. So Van Buren, 335 left. Up by 14 points. Three twenty left in the game. Here is a three point shot by Johnson. Up, no good. The rebound here does. Three minutes and 15 seconds left. Romani Smith dribbles inside, back outside. Kendrick for three, it's up, and it's no good. And the rebound, Van Buren. Under three minutes left. Drew Brazel's got it. Brazel 14 points, Johnson's got 14. gazelle has got 11, good balance. Two forty left, Van Buren just running some clock. Shot clock down to 11. 
Here's a layup. Good. Alma down 16. Here comes Izzy. He's fouled on the floor. 226 left, and Towns Robinson, no foul shots, fouled on the floor, so Alma's got it out of bounds. That's the fourth team foul here in the fourth quarter for Van Buren. Airedales have it on the baseline. They've got to hurry. Matthew Rogers checks in. Here's Kendrick for shooting outside. No good. The rebound, Izzy. Towns Robinson lays it up and in. Alma down 57-43 with two minutes and 10 seconds left. McDonald gets it across midcourt. Three-point baseline shot. Van Buren no good. The rebound. Airedales lost it. Van Buren back in. Missed it. And the rebound. Towns Robinson. Tyree McGill lays it up and in. Alma down 12 with a minute 40 left on the clock. Van Buren, a little soft baseline shot's no good. They shot that probably quicker than they wanted to, rebounded by Towns Robinson. And then it goes off to Tyree McGill. That's kind of been the blueprint tonight in this ball game. With a minute 20 left, Van Buren leads it by 12 and a full timeout. With a minute 20 left, Alma down 12. We'll be right back. Spartan General Contractors is a construction company equipped with highly trained and experienced individuals ready to support you with your next construction project. Residential or commercial, Spartan has the resources needed to help you achieve your final goal. One of our main objectives at Spartan is to keep your project on time and within your budget. While the thoughts of your next construction job can seem complex and overwhelming, let Spartan General Contractors help alleviate that stress and make your next project become reality. Omega Car and Truck Accessories would like to invite you to come by and take a tour of our new retail showroom behind Brahms in Alma. Interactive working displays and a fully stocked warehouse allow you to pick out today's hottest accessories and get them installed fast. Wheels and tires, audio video, LED lighting, steps, lift kits, bed liners, custom interiors, towing, computer cut window tinting, Omega does it all. And with certified technicians, we guarantee the job will be done right. If customer service and value are important to you, choose Omega Car and Truck Accessories. A minute 20 left to play in Van Buren. The Pointers lead the Airedales by 12. They've got it at midcourt. The inbounds comes. So the Airedales, they need four threes, and, and they need them quick. Van Buren leads it by 12. They've led it all the way, pretty much all the way. I'm at an early lead, and Van Buren went in front, and they've been in front ever since. Gazelle in the lane. This is Brazil. He traveled. Airedales get it back with 53 seconds left. Fifty-seven forty-five. The Airedales back home Friday night. Here is Izzy in the lane. Puts it up and in. In. Alma down ten with 45 seconds left and another timeout for Coach Dominic Leakin. So we'll keep it here. Tomorrow night, we've got junior high basketball. No broadcast, we'll just be, uh, I'll be there watching the Lady Airedales at four. And then I'll stick around, spend a little time with uh, all kind of green with people down there to talk to. My good buddy, Brandon Brewer, the baseball coach, baby. And then the boys play tomorrow night, 7.45 as they will take on Greenwood. And then both of the Alma ninth grade teams, if they win that, they play in the finals. That'll be on Thursday. Now I believe the finals are 5.30 and 7. So uh, good luck to Angela Rushing and the Lady Airedales and Eddie Quarter and the Airedales junior high teams. 44 seconds left, Alma down 10. a 25 to 15 run for the Airedales, but just too little too late. 
Towns Robinson's got a double double. No, he doesn't. He has nine points. I thought he had. He's got ten rebounds, but only nine points. Alma down ten. Full court pressure. And the corners get it in. 42 seconds left and a foul. And that is only the second team foul on the Airedales. Easton Boggs will check in for the Airedales. Miles Kendrick will check out. Second foul called on Miles here tonight. Game here in the inbounds pass. And almost a, stole, a steal, but a foul called against Tyree McGill. And Buren gets the inbounds. 34 seconds left and another foul called on Alma. That is the fourth foul. So hack a shack, if you will, in play. But they still have one more foul to put them at the line. 33 seconds left. Alma down 10. And a foul called finally. And Cooley will be at the line to shoot two foul shots with 29.9 seconds left. It's still a four possession game, so even, even if he makes both foul shots, Alma still down in four possessions, but not much time left. 29.9 seconds left. Cooley makes the first one. Alma down 11. Good effort, but just maybe not enough here tonight. Got them both. Alma trails it by 12. 28 seconds left, so Van Buren. Alma kicks it outside, and here's a Matthew Rogers three. It's no good, and that will do it. 20 seconds left. Van Buren leads it by 12, and they can run out the clock if they so choose. 12 seconds left. Alma's going to drop to 10 and 1 in the 5A West. The Airedales back home Friday night. That snaps an 11-game winning streak. Tip of the hat some nights. And certainly tonight, Van Buren wins it 59-47. The Airedales back home Friday night to take on Greenbrier. We will see you in Charles B. Dyer Arena. This is Kevin Taylor. So long from Van Buren. You're watching Airwaves Media.